Good morning. It is day two on the Appalachian Trail. Um, yeah, that was an intriguing night. Nothing came for my food. As you can see, I'm still exhausted. Did a lot of video editing last night. And being up on top of this mountain here, at this elevation, was just insane. Excuse the hair, guys. But the winds got really strong last night. It actually blew my tent stakes out of the holders they were in. Um, yes, I'm wearing my jacket because it is like 42 degrees outside right now. And I'm freezing. But got a few things taken down already. We're still getting used to the little one hour time stage. Um, but today we're gonna try and get it's gonna be a pretty day and it's gonna rain tonight. But we're gonna try and get about nine miles in the you know, black gap shelter is where we're headed today. Um, hopefully we can make it. Cause the strenuous stairs yesterday were, I mean, I'm not really feeling it in my body that much. I don't feel it right now. I stretched a lot yesterday. Um, I kept getting a lot of Charlie horses and I would massage that out um, along with just my feet cramping up. And that, that's how I know I just needed water. That's why I made that big bad decision to guzzle so much water. But I'm going to get some coffee going and call it a good day so far today. I will talk to you lovers later. a beautiful day today like I've been saying right there is well right there is where I slept last night it was amazing um, the Sun is out and about it's supposed to storm tonight so I'm trying to get to my destination before any of that starts but it's gonna be later tonight around I think 3 a.m. but you know on top of the mountain that can change but had breakfast over here. We're about to get out of camp and get going, y'all. I am tired, but <clears throat> that's what it that's trail life for you. You're tired, but you love it. <laughs> I will see you guys down the mountain. It's hiking with Shay here. Um, I just met my first through hikers for the day. This is Sid and Jen, and they are amazing. They came up on me, kind of scared your girl a little bit, but I thought they might have been a bear, but they were just some sweet people. So it was a blessing in disguise. <laughs> but to say the least, we are headed down this mountain. Black Gap is calling my name. Let's go. I never thought I would hike in these, but since I got my blisters, I'm not chancing it. And to be quite honest, they're a lot more comfier than Crocs because they don't get stuff stuck in them. They're not hurting my feet. I can wear them with blisters. That is a huge one. So, a little campsite. So cute, guys. Little fireplace, big old log for people. There's so many roots on the ground wall. There you go. So they blend in really nice. I think I may have three more miles until I get to a water source or a spring. And my goal is black gap tonight. Like I said, that was my goal yesterday, but 
God had other plans. So that's fine. And so did my feet. <laughs> my feet were done. Done so, guys. Um, so now I'm just walking through some flat area. It is still strenuous in a way. Just because you gotta watch your step. Literally. It's the flattest I've seen it since I've been on trail. And the most clear. I just guzzled some electrolytes, waited about five or ten minutes. I think my body needed it. And that coffee really helped. <laughs> the coffee helped me a lot, so I felt pretty good. I felt pretty good, guys. But we're getting there. It's one one step at a time. One step at a time. Hike your own hike. Um, you know, just be you whenever you're in nature, because all you really can be. So, I'll tune back into you guys when I'm at the water source, hopefully, or I'll just tune back in. Alright, bye. Hey, so, before I start going uphill again, I'm kind of on a flat surface here. I was blessed by not one, two, but three people on trail. I was completely out of water in my Cinoc and my one liter water bottle and it's another uh, two and a half miles to a water source so I was pretty thirsty and they offered me water they were like just take it we're going down we came from the lodge and people like that are blessings because that's what's going to get me to the water source so I can refill up my two liter, my one liter, and then uh, I'll be set until I get to my uh, destination tonight, my sleeping place, but I'm going up the hill, so talk to y'all later. Hi, my lovelies. I am out here having some snacks with these beauties, and trail angels have blessed all of us today. Thank God. Um, we've been sitting here chatting it up, and we're going to head on up here in about probably five, ten minutes, but amazing views, beautiful rock <laughs> that my butt likes to sit on right now. So I will check back in with you guys later. Bye. Go follow me on my YouTube if you want to see my experience with the Appalachian Trail. Um, hiking with Shay. It is amazing. Beautiful. And very excited to be here. I'm about 2.5 miles from Springer Mountain. I'm gonna go ahead and give me some water. Got one liter left. And my trail name is officially Snickers. <laughs> Cause I'm always laughing. And I always have a Snickers for somebody. <laughs> this isn't even ridge lining y'all. I came from down there. Nimble Will Gap. This is a tree. I'm just kind of standing by right now, but oh, it's steep and I have to rock, rock scramble over those. I just got done rock scrambling over that, but, but I'm not going to lie with the 40 pound pack. Mm, I'm glad I got rid of some of my food. I would not be able to do this right now. And, but once I reach the top of this, there's going to be water. Praying, hoping. <laughs> it says there's a spring with flowing water abundantly. Um, if not, I'll probably cry. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and rock scramble, y'all. Let's go. <sighs> Debating if I want to take that, but that is a chance of death. Oh, and I just don't have the energy to actually step on those, so yeah, I'll chance it. Footing is important, y'all. No way you're placing your foot, and it is going to fall. All right. 
and we're over it. <laughs> not the first, and not the last, but definitely different. Some gaps here. You can slide off of that, that's up. <sighs> Just straight up, up and up. They say, no rain, no pain, no main. And baby boy, that rain is coming tomorrow. So, it's a beautiful day. And instead of stopping at Black Gap, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get to Springer. It's 2.5 miles, I'm already a mile in. I don't wanna be a mile and a half, so. See you up there, guys. So I just rolled into Black Gap Shelter and set my pack on the picnic table to have some lunch. And this little guy was just right here next to me. I mean, I'm zoomed in. Let me zoom out for y'all. There he is, or she, and there's my foot. Hey guys, Hello. stopped to have some lunch and we have some awesome hiker friends here. They're eating lunch with me and refilling on some water. water. But after this, we're going to head up to Springer. I'll tune in to you later. The things I do for water, but not just me. Hey, everybody on trail, I got to walk all the way back up that. That is bringing me down into the valley right now. I mean, this is deep incline and decline. But it's flowing really nicely, so. Well, give me some water, guys. <laughs> we he traded packs. Yes. <laughs> he totally saved the day. I'm carrying his little 15 pound bag. <laughs> Whew. He said, gosh damn, that thing is heavy. Oh lord, it's funny seeing my pack on somebody else. <sighs> we made it. Springer Mountain, baby. Springer. First bite blade. I'm so excited. Oh, but I'm worn out. I've done, I think, 20 miles in the past two days. So. All these amazing, wonderful souls, guys. My beauty. <laughs> yeah, yes. We got hikers everywhere today and tonight. <laughs> Little picnic table. Hey, guys. Sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> Got tents. It's pretty decent out here. It's starting to get a little chilly, but beautiful. Oh.